All right, man, talk to talk. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, man. Good morning, man. Good morning, good morning, good morning to everybody. Hope y'all had yourself some good turkey. And I hope y'all brought yourself a TV. You know? Good Friday, you know, all y'all people got to go buy a TV. You got 20 TVs in your house. And you got three on the wall upstairs. Like, you don't need no more TVs, bro. It's all good. These Jones is cheap now. Remember the TVs would be like ten thousand dollars for a TV. And people be like, I gotta get that new that sixty that sixty one inch. It's ten thousand. Gotta get that job. Like you gonna spend ten thousand on a TV? Yeah, I need it. But you at work most of the day. How you gonna watch it? You gonna watch it one time? You come home, spend ten G's on the TV. It's not happening. Anyway, so today we're gonna be talking about uh, Little Wayne and Kendrick uh, and. Uh, Rosenberg is breaking down why he believes uh, uh, Little Wayne is actually hurt over this, and this is a, this is pretty good. So, before I get into that, you know I gotta get a legendary spell. This torch talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, single, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no much, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is in the description. Cash app. They called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000, about to be 13,000. Thank you very much. Appreciate everybody for subscribing. And uh, yeah, you know, King of the North, let me know what kingdom you from. Are you from the kingdom of Seattle? Are you from the kingdom of Austin, Texas? From the kingdom of, uh, you know, Pennsville, New Jersey? I don't know. Tell me what kingdom you from. So look, we're going to get into this, man, and we'll be back to discuss. So look, man, let's get it. We're going to get it. Get it good. Let's go, man. Let's go. <laughs> like, like, why go at Wayne? But he didn't go at Wayne. He didn't. I don't think so. Wayne's taking it like he did? Yes. Because guess what? Wayne is, don't Wayne is evidently quite sensitive. But um, all he said was, I guess I wet, let Wayne down. And basically, he was just expressing like, now, you see, this is what I mean by, now, I don't know who the other guy is, but this is what I mean by, I think it's Cypher Sounds. I, I believe, I don't know, don't quote me. Um, but this is what I believe, and this is the reason why I think that we are in this, in this whole situation. Like, you have the internet, and for some reason, you still don't know what's going on. And he said, why go at Wayne? So, obviously, he don't know what was said. He got that from somebody else. You see what I mean? Like, and this is what I'm talking about, how the information be fed to people, whether you want to call it disinformation, misinformation, whatever, or just no information at all, just rumors. Because people, people will, they'll polish up a piece of, if they have to, to make it look good. You know what I'm saying? So for him to say, why go at Wayne, though? He sounds so confident. But he don't even know that he didn't go at Wayne. That's the crazy part. So let's keep when when Kendrick got announced for the Super Bowl, Wayne went on like a two week complaining tour about it. Oh, was it towards him though? Would have been anybody, right? Yeah, but it's still not congratulatory. Come on, bro. It's like for you to for you to say was it towards him? The Super Bowl. Kendrick has the Super Bowl. You go out there and you say you believe you should have had it. How is that not going against the person who has it? And y'all supposed to be, I'm going to say friends, but y'all supposed to be cool, buddies. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody win, uh, I don't know, a spot. And you, you didn't play for the spot, but you felt like if you did play for the spot, you should have won. But you played a long time ago, but this time you didn't play for the spot. And guess what? The guy that won the spot, he'd been playing all year. And you've been saying to yourself, well, I played all last, the three years ago. Why didn't I get the spot? And they're playing in my hometown. They should have gave it to me, even though I didn't play this year. That's what this sounds like. Like why would it? Why would he congratulate? He was campaigning for something and he lost. It was something that didn't have a campaign process. 
And how was he campaigning for something that he lost? He never was selected. Like, I don't see if they had a vote and then everybody voted for this guy. Like, or he was campaigning all year. He even admitted that was on him. That was in his head. That wasn't nobody else. Maybe I shouldn't have expected it. Why would you expect? Who expects to do something at the Super Bowl? I don't get it. Listen, if it was you, if you got announced as the, the, the I don't know, the, the radio, Hot 97, whoever it was, Howard 100, I don't care. A place comes to Sife and goes, we're giving you the big slot. And it's announced and everyone's like, wow, Seif got that. That's crazy. He's had a great year. Maybe it's better to say like a comedy headlining thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And this year they go, we're putting you you know, on the, the Burt Kreischer, Hitler, Euro tour, whatever the thing is. <laughs> <laughs> and and they make you the, 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 the main guy, the headliner. <laughs> yeah. And a comedian that you know who you've always had a, rela- a positive relationship with. Five times. Kendrick and Wayne always had a positive relationship. Yes. They've done features together. Okay. And then that guy, like five different. Even if they didn't have a positive relationship, everybody doesn't have to have a positive relationship for you to congratulate them. And when I mean by positive, I mean also doesn't, I also don't mean a negative relationship either. But why not? I mean, I didn't see it. Times put out videos talking about his anger and hurt and how unfair it is. And in none of them did he go, listen, separately, I just want to big up Cypher Sounds. This had that would have been, that been cool. All he had to do was do that. He never did. He All he had to say was like, yo, I fuck with Kendrick. He is incredible. I love him, but I really wanted this now, I, I, Super Bowl. The fact that he never once said, okay, I respect I get Kendrick. That. I get that. Come on, bro. How do you not catch a feeling about that? You're like, yeah. my man, can I just get my moment? Right. That's what I'm saying. And then Wayne does this thing. He throws his hand. That's exactly what I'm saying. I mean, pause. I'm sorry. That's exactly what I'm saying. So. You didn't congratulate Kendrick. Not to say you had to go out there and 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 and, and dick the nigga. No, you ain't had to do all that. But at the same time, you know who has the slot. Now, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all saying, a lot of people saying the reason why he didn't do that is because of Drake. Because he's stuck in the middle between the two. And he's cool with Kendrick and he's still cool with Drake. I don't see how he's still cool with Drake. That's just my personal opinion. You would be cool with a dude who slept with your girl and he didn't come to your tribute show. You be cool with somebody like that? I don't know. That's just that's just what it is. But I get what he's saying. Here we go. Ends up and he's like, what did I do? I'm just minding my business. It's like, no, you're not. You're fine. Listen, Wayne, I get it. I've complained about a lot of things. But then when people get mad at me, I got to own it. You weren't minding your business, bro. You were you were all you were saying out loud all these feelings about something that was a win for someone else. I get it. You saw it as a loss for you. But it was a win for Kendrick. That's 100% facts. That's 100% facts. You saw it as a win. You didn't see it as a win for someone else. You saw it as a moment for you to make it about yourself and you're bickering and beefing about it. That's what all it was. You didn't get on there and say, damn. It would would have been the thing is, look, I'd have been like, listen, I wish I had that, but since he going to be in New Orleans, I'm going to make sure we have a hell of a time. I'm pushing this. My man gonna get on there. And he gonna do the best. I can't wait. I'm gonna be the. I'm gonna be in the front row. That's what he should have said. To be honest with you. What's the point of you grieving about it? It's already sele- He's already selected already. You might as well just start working on next year or the year after that. Can't be. You can't be crying about it. It's over. And it's somebody that you so called respect and you cool with. <laughs> 
And then he's like, don't wake up the beast. Trust me, you don't want to wake up the beast. I'll, I'm sorry. I, I have news for other rappers out there. Kendrick ain't scared of anyone at this point, guys. Um, to fund Kendrick Lamar's song by burying him amidst a sensitive label negotiation. Kendrick Lamar isn't scared of anybody right now. I just want to let y'all know. I want to let everybody know that. And uh, if you haven't seen my video, uh, East Coast has to stop hating on the West Coast, please go check that out. Because I revealed a lot of things in there and I said a lot of things. And I'm from the East Coast and I said a lot of things that uh, need needed to be said. So... Uh, yeah, we're going to end this here. So thing is, um, little Wayne, I'm hearing people saying that he went in the booth and all this stuff. I don't believe that. I don't believe it. Now, more I thought about it. I don't believe it. I think that I actually think that that little Wayne at this point, his career he should just do music and just ride off into the sunset. Don't even go out battling somebody like Kendrick. You don't want to do that. And I know a lot of y'all want to see it. I know a lot of y'all don't want to see it. I know a lot of y'all is probably out here like, oh, no, he could take Kendrick. He could do it. Let me explain something to y'all. I want y'all to understand something. When you are at a level, when you are at peak power, Kendrick Lamar has been at peak power for a long time. I want y'all to understand that. Like he's been at peak power since probably good kid, probably section eighty. Like good kid, Matt City, he was at peak power. He's been at peak power since then, and just because he takes his time with music, but when you take your time, you get faster at doing something better. You know what I'm saying? See, sometimes you start out slow. So it's a slow person takes their time, and they get better, and they get faster, and they get better and faster, better and faster. Next thing you know, now you are fast and you're good at what you do. This is why I think Kendrick is at right now. The, everything lined up perfectly. You know what I'm saying? He's he's that right there in that space. Boom, right there. And I think that that's what happened. And I think that Wayne Wayne is he's 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 he's, he's not he's not going to be able to handle the onslaught if that happens. I mean, I see people saying Daylight said that their battle was never going to happen. They're not going to respond. I've seen that. And I could kind of agree. I don't think Kendrick would try to battle right now. I don't think so. I think at this point, Kendrick is focused on trying to do something monumental when it comes to hip-hop. I definitely don't think that he is setting his sights on battling Lil Wayne. just don't think that that is something that he wants to do. Now, I think him him beating Lil Wayne, to me, I don't think a lot of people would look at that as a win for him or a good thing. Because Lil Wayne is not somebody that is one of those people that is, he's not hated. You know what I'm saying? Like, people like Lil Wayne. And I think it would make Kendrick look bad if he smoked him. I mean, I, I wouldn't care because I, I want Kendrick to smoke everybody. So... But I think it would make him look bad if he did it. So I don't think he should do it. <clears throat> I don't think he is going to do it. But uh, you never know with Kendrick because he is a demon at times. But all right, man, I'm out of here. 12 o'clock show coming up. I know I said yesterday I wasn't going to drop no shoes, but I can't stay away. Got to keep it real with this content. See y'all. Yeah.